Hi everyone, Rainbow Heart Freedom Eagle here, and today's video topic is What are the three common mistakes smartphone users make that destroy their health and how to avoid these mistakes forever? So back in the Cold War times between 1953 and 1976, the Russians at the U.S. Embassy were spying, trying to listen to the um, Americans' conversation in the encampment of the U.S. Embassy. And in order to do this, they were bombarding the Americans uh, residing in this camp with continuous radiation. And the first person, the first um, leader who was there got leukemia. He got really sick. And so he had to be shipped back, shipped back. He had to, he was forced to return back to the United States. His replacement also developed leukemia. And basically, the United States staff who worked there at this embassy in Moscow reported complaining about all these different diseases, such as memory loss, brain fog, loss of concentration, insomnia, while they were staying at this embassy. This radio frequency syndrome, well, the Russians were not or are not surprised by it because because they already knew what happened during uh, 19, between 1953 to 1976. So, the first mistake that we're going to talk about is prevention over chemo. So basically, the lack of prevention over chemotherapy treatment. Chemotherapy for cancer. So the lack of prevention over treating cancer. Okay. <clears throat> Avoiding all cell phones is unrealistic. However, preventing certain situations decrease your chances of cancers and other diseases. Electromagnetic radiation from cell phones are harmful, a.k.a. EMR. Other names for it, for EMR, are EMF, electromagnetic frequency. Electropollution. So you may hear me say EMF, EMR, electropollution, or just radiation. You don't have to own a cell phone. We are all in the crossfires of cell towers and wireless connections getting irradiated with EMR. So this is my cell phone, as you can see here. And the antenna is located over here. And when you imagine a globe or a plume, like a P-L-U-M-E, it's um, a ball. If the antenna is here, you imagine six to seven inches. Let's say it's six, seven, I can't see my hand, about seven inches all around, a circle, a plume, a ball that is seven inches in um, radius or 14 inches in diameter, uh, a globe or a sphere all around this antenna. That's the plume that you need to keep your head away from because the radiation is strongest emanating from there, from where the antenna is. You know, some people don't believe in this. They say, oh, whatever, I'm, I'll see it when I believe it. I don't believe in this crap. All these scary t statistics are fake. It's just a conspiracy. Oh, I'll believe it when I have a brain tumor. So, why do you need to know about the dangers and harms of the radiation from the cell phones? Well, for one... It can cause sleep deprivation, and the EMR, it creates talk. I'll, instead of talking like I'm reading from a nursing handbook or a doctor's book or a biology book, I'll just put in layman's terms. EMR creates toxins or free radicals, and you can't, your body can't properly remove the toxins. It leads to a weakened immune system. You'll look older and age faster. The 
your body's ability to fight the tumors decreases. The AMR interferes with breast cancer treatment, such as tamoxifen. So usually people will succeed with this treatment, but being surrounded by EMR, it actually renders this treatment ineffective. Your sperm quality will be really low, and the quantity will also be affected. Okay, so these are cell phone facts from the cell phone industry, industry themselves. Okay, the study. <clears throat> in 1999, the results of the research findings were published. The following summary is quoted directly from that report. One, the rate of death from brain cancer among handheld phone users were higher than the rate of brain cancer among those who used non-handheld phones that were away from their head. Two, the risk of acoustic neuroma, a benign tumor of the auditory nerve, was 50% higher in people who reported using cell phones for six years or more. Three, the risk of rare neuroepithelial tumors on the outside of the brain was more than doubled in cell phone users as compared to non-users. Four, there is some correlation between tumors occurring on the right side of the head and use of the phone on the right side of the head. Five, laboratory studies looking at the ability of radiation from a cell phone's antenna to cause functional genetic damage were definitely positive. <clears throat> so, how can you avoid, how can you um, counteract the prevention, the prevention over chemotherapy? So, you would prevent, prevent fighting cancers by doing certain actions. If you want, you can get a pen and paper and jot this in your notebook or just... Well, I'm pretty dorky to record it, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, record the recording. Anyways, just remember it. Maybe even record it some other way that you want using a device for EMR. Uh, anyways, number one, avoid wireless connections. Adopt an Amish lifestyle. Live in nature like reclusive monks. Okay, that's the end of the video. <laughs> Not. Anyways, number two. Live in nature and at least and have the least amount of appliances that you use at home, in your home. Three, don't use cordless phones. Replace cordless phones with wire or corded landline phones. Higher radiation is more dangerous. The higher radiation in cordless phones is more dangerous and more um more active than the ones in the cell phones. DECT, which is an acronym for uh, D-E-C-T, Digital Enhancement Cordless Technology, this is actually more harmful than the radio waves that are produced back and forth between the cell phones and the cell phone towers. So if you have anything like that, get rid of it. Cordless phones, baby sleeping monitors. Four. Buy cell phones with lower SARs, which is, an, which is a measurement of their intensity. Note, this does not measure the frequency that it oscillates or vibrates at, but at least this is one way of looking at the measurements, that SAR. You can find this on the website, sarvalues.com. S-A-R, values, with, plural with an S, dot com. Number five. Buy cell phones with speakerphone capabilities. Six, use the headset. Uh, what kind of headset, though? It has to be the air tube, air tube headset. It's the safest because it doesn't have the EMR going directly into your ears, into your head. Seven, use wired internet. Wired, not wireless, wired. Don't use wireless urge don't use wireless anything as much as possible if you can 
urged the community to use fiber optics internet instead. Eight, talk on speakerphone. I myself has, have done this intuitively. I just usually kind of reminds me of my grandma holding the phone away from me. You know, what, she even did this with the cordless phone at home. I would just talk and just always like to have it on speakerphone and just kind of put it near my ear if I needed to or just put it near my mouth when I need to talk. But I would just usually talk like this, now, literally. Intuitively, I would just do this even before I found out about this education and research that I have that I'm talking about right now. <clears throat> when you do talk on speakerphone, make the antenna six inches or more away from your head. The plume, the EMR radiation has a plume of six inches or more. Remember how I talked about that sphere of ball around the antenna of the cell phone? Number nine. Talk outside in closed areas. Like, don't copy me. I'm talking inside a car right now. Don't do that. Um, talk outside in closed metal surroundings when possible. Like the car, the office, the home, the business, trains, subways. Why? Because there's a more concentrated energy of the EMR that it's like secondhand smoke. It'll affect you and all the people around you and it's more concentrated. It's uh, less likely to escape. And when, when you notice too, you look at your cell phone and there's no bars, there's no signals, no bars, no reception, the cell phone works harder to connect to the cell phone towers. And when it works harder, the, the frequency, the EMR is higher. So you're getting more toxins when you're getting irradiated more when the cell phone is working harder to connect to the cell phone towers because it's using more power and so it's more dangerous when there's no bars. So that's another reason why don't talk in enclosed areas, also talk in open areas so that even though it's invisible and undetectable by the human body, the concentration of the radiation is out in the open. One, two, you can have open access, easier access to the cell phone towers. All right, so that was the last tip on the prevention over chemotherapy. So this brings us to the second mistake. The second mistake is sleeping sins. No, it's not what you think. <laughs> so sleeping with the EMR transmitters unnecessarily. Sleeping with the enemy. <laughs> Other names of this could be sexting, texting, Facebooking. 81% of 15-year-olds to 20-year-olds sleep with their cell phones under their pillow or sleep with it in bed, their phones, and they leave it on. This is according to Fast Company Magazine, April 2006. Can you imagine how, how this um, EMR is affecting them even during their sleep, when they're trying to sleep? So what, you, what is recommended is to sleep in a room or a home without any appliances plugged in, without any appliance plugged in, and turn off your cell phone. Yes, it said off, not silent, off. Because even when it's on standby mode, it's still radiating the toxins. When, when the cell phone is on standby and not on use, it leads to insomnia, sleep deprivation, and a compromised immune system. When you have the when you have your body being affected by these these radiation waves it causes stress even if it's at lower levels you'll still be at prolonged times of stress of duress uh, which lead to irritability fatigue anger road rage high blood pressure loss of blood sugar control decreased thyroid function and weight gain who wants to have weight gain? You know, when you're stressed, that that's um 
that's easy for you to be on weight gain because people like to eat as comfort. Or the hormone cortisol is produced, which actually makes you have fat accumulating in your midsection. Not attractive, guys. So the the 15 to 20 year olds who have the habit of sleeping with the cell phone in their bed or and or under their pillow well even younger than that disney and sprint have joined together in a 2 billion dollar deal and they are targeting what they call tweeners age 8 to 12 years old the children absorb more emr because they're still developing physically and neurologically and their their densities they're basically their skull doesn't form as hard as it will be at the hardest at age 22 and they have more water and fluid in their bodies the the pictures the scientific pictures that show prove that when when it's a 5 year old the radiation from the EMR it looks like when I viewed this picture, it looks like it takes up, it enters the skull, the head, the brain, takes up about 78% of the head, five-year-old. And when it's a 10-year-old, it looked like it took up uh, about half, about 50% of the brain. And when an adult was exposed to it, it looked like it took up less than half. So children are way more susceptible to this harm. It's our responsibility to take care of our children. And... That's why you're being educated on this, so you can take care of yourself and your children. The U.S. federal government, of course, of course, why is it not changing? Why is it not saying, hey, cell phones are dangerous? So the federal government is making a lot of money from consumers because this uh, product revenue of cell phone minutes is actually number two. Number one is gasoline. And you wonder why the government is saying and doing nothing um, for the public, for the people, to, to unleash the truth about the harms of cell phones. How can you... How can you improve these sleeping sins? Be Amish. <laughs> Live in Antarctica. What? Aren't there penguins there? Place, place even your alarm clock radio six to seven feet away from your head. Yeah, I know. I'm guilty of this. I have to move mine as well because... Who wants to get up to hit snooze? You just want to hit snooze and lay, lay there and sleep again, right? Well, think about it. You want a higher quality of life. You want to have better quality sleep. You want to be healthier. You want to avoid cancers. Okay, this is unnecessary. Move the alarm clock radio six to seven feet away from your head. Avoid metal frames on your bed. Don't use an electric blanket and don't use water beds. Well, that's back in the days if you even know what water beds are. Some people think that I'm too young to know what water beds are. Thank you. Anyways, why? Well, they can attract the EMR harm towards you more. So, we are here at number, mistake number Three, two, three, we just finished number two. So just want to make sure you're paying attention. Go ahead and stretch. All right. You know, get the blood pumping, do a little jumping jacks, whatever. Just stretch, do something dancing, whatever you want to do. Give me a high five in the air. All right. Are you awake? You ready to listen to number three? Okay. <clears throat> So, obviously, you're not Amish, and you still want to know more strategies because you're on this video and you haven't clicked off or turned it off yet. So, how do you live in a world with the perks of global connectivity over, over, um, 
over still trying to deal with the harmful effects of the smartphones and the Wi-Fi's. The third mistake, protection during need. The third mistake is lack of protection during need. If you need to use smartphones, use protection kiddos. <laughs> so, the EMF, electromagnetic frequency, the EMR, electromagnetic radiation. You can find um, this named as EMF shields, EMR shields, protection shields, EMR protection shields, EMR protection patch. EMR or EMF neutralizer, EMR or EMF interrupter. The physics and chemistry prove that particular arrangements of the molecular structures of these, whether they be chemicals or elements, can protect or neutralize against EMR. This is my phone. This is the patch. See how pretty it is? It's gold. It says Vodiox EMR protection, gold 24K. 24 karat, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's really beautiful. And then you see this laptop here? I have to get a patch for it. This is the bottom. This is the top, but this is the bottom. I need to get a patch and I'm gonna place it, I need to order another one, Ugh, I'll place it right here, okay? And you can read specific instructions of where you need to be placing your patches. Do you want to continue to be a zombie, or are you a zombie? Or do you want to prevent yourself from being a zombie? Red-eyed, irritable, anxiety-filled, stressed, Always in continual, even if it's uh, lower, lower forms of stress, lower levels of stress, but all the time stress because of this, this EMR that's just bombarding you and triggering and hitting you. I mean, you're not yourself. It's like, it's like you're a, a, an animal or a beast and someone keeps triggering you with these radiation, you know, just shooting it at you. That's continual flight or fight fight or flight response. Not a way to be living, guys. Remember what I said about the big tummy? Cortisol is a stress hormone produced uh, as a hormone produced by stress and you're going to have big tummy. You don't want to have a big tummy, do you? Your clothes can't fit. And other things. You'll be more susceptible to cancers. You'll have a weakened immune system if you don't use protection. When it gets when it gets so bad that you can't stand to be around any devices, electrical devices that transmit any even low levels of EMR, it's it's um it's debilitating. Um there are people who are highly sensitive who you can research their stories. Um they have pain, tinnitus, vertigo, flu-like symptoms, nausea, they're drained. I mean, their whole quality of life is down and they have to rearrange their whole life to, it, to be reactive. They're being reactive instead of proactive. And when you have things such as this, the education and the patch, then you can be proactive. You know, you can still be on top of things before they get so sickening and bad. It may be, it may be after I die, who knows, maybe a hundred years, hopefully less, after this video is made and after you watch it, that the government admits that cell phones are harmful. So the tobacco industry just go over, going over some timelines of of history it was uh the tobacco was first debated to be harmful in 1856 
Only in 1997 did the tobacco companies agree to fund health care costs. I calculated that. 161 years. 161 people. The x-rays. So Thomas Edison in, 19, in 1896 noted injuries from x-rays. Then, uh, I'm only saying the beginning and end. I'm not going to go th bore you through all the details. Then, in 1990, it was concluded that risk, the risk of cancer was five times more. Five times more than previously thought. When I calculated the number of years, that was 94 years. Almost 100 years again. 94 years. Lastly, asbestos. Some of you might be too young to know what asbestos is. It's um, a poisonous, you know, substance that is um, carcinogenic. They use it in making houses, like in the ceilings or walls, things like that. Mostly the ceilings. Fluffy, you can just like scrape it off, off of the ceiling. It flakes off like powder. In 1898, in Britain, a factory... A factory, um, a factory inspector, he warned that the asbestos is harmful in 1898. Then in 1989, it was finally banned in the United States. 91 years later. 9-1. Again, almost 100 years later. So, the evolution in history is slow to change. Let's do what we can to counteract EMR while we still have to live with this BS. How can you start now? This EMR protection patch from Vodiox, it sticks to your smartphone. See, very thin, beautiful, convenient, like a sticker. I mean, it's, it sticks like a sticker. And it protects you from... Um, it protects your head and your body from whenever you need to bring the cell phone close to you and when it's when the cell phone is on. When you need to talk and or text. It's effective for one year. You can watch the the meter the meter test and you can see the proof of how how much of the EMR is actually blocked when the cell phone devices or other mobile devices such as tablets, laptops, what have you, have the patch versus when they do not have the patch. I'll show you, I'll give you the link so you can watch the video on that. <clears throat> Personally, me being a healer and an energy worker, I, uh, I was quite surprised. Yes, I have to admit that I was a skeptic before because about Actually, yeah, 10 years ago. 10 years ago when this man was first um, introducing this concept of, hey, you can use this to protect against the harms of the frequencies, harmful frequencies um, emitted by certain devices, appliances, electronics. You know, I thought, oh, who's this freak? You know, whatever. Oh, I don't want to be a victim. Like, I don't want to be too sensitive. Well, you know what? Whether you're too sensitive or not, it's really it's really good to be proactive and prevent things before they get worse but unfortunately being uh you know the human race or human species we don't change until something is very painful enough like it really hits us hard that okay i have to change something in my life now so i was quite surprised when when i put this patch onto my phone and my phone was on I felt, I felt this wholeness essence, and I applied it directly onto onto the antenna. And kid, kid you not, I just, I mean, it's something you can't really explain. It's this sixth sense that you sense and know and feel. Um, instead of feeling this harmful feeling, it changed to benign, like. Instead of feeling that, oh, this thing is reaching out and hurting me or just, you know, somehow, not even hurting me, but just being harmful, it felt like whole, like, like there was a whole contained sphere. 
and it just felt like it wasn't harming me. And yeah, that's the essence. That's the number one word I can say. Whole. Wholeness. I was impressed. Even my cat avoids avoids me every time I turn on and or use my cell phone. I mean, I'm loud. <laughs> I'm loud. I'm bossy. And, you know, that doesn't bother my cats. But when I turn on the cell phone, they run. And I've really noticed this ever since I've been working on this, um, preparing this video for you. It's become more um, apparent to me. I actually need to purchase uh, more for the other mobile devices, such as everything, cameras, iPads, desktops, laptops, things like that. And I feel really good about it because it is helping empower and educate the world and also protect ourselves. And when we make ourselves better, when you take the personal responsibility of taking care of yourself, doing what you can in this world that is so full of injustice and pollutants, then you'll feel happier, you'll feel healthier, and you'll inspire others. Like Bear last night, he was at the store. I asked him to get some groceries, and he talked to someone for an hour. They were talking about these inspiring ideas. They weren't gossiping, talking about people, and he told me that people kept looking at them. And he was showing them his cell phone with the Vodiox EMR protection shield patch on it. And it's like, oh, yeah, we'll let you know about it when... Um, when when we get everything ready, you can get your own. And he was just happy to say, wow, that's great. You guys are changing the world. See, when you get this, you're automatically sharing it by living, being a living example and showing it to everyone else. Hey, there are things we can do. There, we can be empowered. Despite these dangers, we can still continue to help ourselves while inspiring others to want to help themselves and do better for themselves and share it with everyone else. See, viruses, things that are viral don't just have to be bad or evil or corrupt or unjust or unfair things. We can make a movement of anything that you believe in that inspires you out of love, hope, and faith. Okay? There's always going to be problems in the world. So we must focus on putting our attention and energies on what we can do, what we can do for ourselves, what we can do to help and inspire everyone else around us. You may only think, you're, oh, I'm only one person. You are that powerful. It only takes one person to change the world. It only takes one person to change things. And who knows? You might even invent something that may may be so revolutionary too, just like this thing that I'm talking about right now, it may lead to other things because maybe I'm inspiring you right now by doing this video. Maybe you'll create something of your own or you'll find um, another movement that you're passionate about and you'll want to help them, help that mission, help the group of people, help... Uh, overturn something that is near and dear in your heart and fund and support what you want to see it replaced with. Like Gandhi said, become the change that you want to see in the world. People, forgive yourselves. We can only do it step by step. Little by little. And we're not going to be perfect, so let's just do little by little what we can. Focus on the cans not the cannots. So, Bear and I would be happy to answer questions for you and or direct you to whoever, whoever may be able to answer your questions. This, uh, this patch, this AMR protection patch, from Vodiox by Vodiox is 99.99% effective in protecting against the EMR. Take one step at a time in enhancing and improving your life, the quality of your life. Start with, start with preventing cancer or disease. 
due to harmful EMR. Get yours. We'll provide the link below. Get yours. I love this. I mean, that's like the 10th time I've literally kissed it since I've got it. We'll provide the link below. Get yours. Get it now. Get it soon. Click the link below. And to your empowerment, Rainbow Heart Freedom Eagle signing out. Healing. It is all that is.